Hey everybody, Irish Guy JG Jesse here with you. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by and checking out what we got. I see that we did have uh, some new subscribers. That's great news, you guys. That's good news. It's good to see new people on the channel, uh, new names, uh, and that means new comments, new feedback, great, great new uh, input. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for subscribing and for stopping over. It looks like um, one of my Psalms videos, Psalms 15, I think, video from last night got quite a few uh, views and and so yeah so it got out there so great that's great news so I got a couple emails from my video from earlier I'm all right you guys I'm okay I'm just I'm I've only had this channel for a year and a half two years uh, yeah, uh, maybe a year and a half and uh, you know it's 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 not something that I use to make money on it's not something that I use to get views or to get likes or to get people to subscribe necessarily it's more or less just getting people to know that there is hope out here in the name of Jesus in recovery so it, I use the channel and I kind of air out a little bit of my issues that I have going on because I, I want people to know that you can stay sober through these events life does not have to upend and heave up your whole existence because of one little roadblock or one little thing that happens in your life it, it doesn't need to happen so I'm telling that to myself as well because when I read God's word and I'm, and I'm investing time into learning what God has in store for me, he's telling me, obviously, to, to move forward and to be positive. Don't be a negative uh, person out in the world. Don't be anything negative in the world because the world is already negative enough. We don't need any more negative people in there. So last week when I had an incident, um, I had an incident with somebody and uh, some words got exchanged, got a little physical. and. It just, it all happens so fast. That's how fast the enemy works, you know? He just puts his foot in the door if you allow it. And I, I allowed it by thinking and having animosity towards another person. So I get what I get, but I also ask for, for forgiveness. And uh, I repent and, and, and kind of figure out how I can better myself. Whatever the other person's gonna do is whatever. That person is, is their own person and they're old enough to know what they, they should do, whatever. I'm, I'm, I gotta clean my side of the street so when I have people on my side of the street, it ain't so messy, it ain't so cluttered. People want to be around the channel. They want to be around somebody who's succeeding in the name of Jesus and recovering. So it's an amazing thing. I was pretty down earlier, but when I, I tell you guys, if there is anything that I get out of these times of despair, it's hope. Because you sit and think about all the negative things, but as soon as you start thinking about the positive things, all that negative stuff doesn't seem so bad at the moment because you're thinking about hope. So when you have hope in your mind and you have hope in your, in, in, you know, and you're ready to, to digest hope instead of fear and negativity and all oh, this and that, this and that, your, light, your outlook changes and you're able to step away from what you're dealing with and look at it with a, with a different spiritual type of lens and say, man, what am I freaking out about? What is going on that's so bad that I need to, to, to be upset about? So, you know, life happens. Life happens so unexpectedly. But we are in control of our recovery. We're in control of our walk with God. We're in control of what we have going on in our lives. So if you want, if you would rather spend it in despair, thinking negatively, you know, thinking thoughts of woe is me and, you know, that guy, that person, I'm going to show that person. I'm going to get that guy. Oh, no, actually, you're not going to get that guy because whatever you do to that person is going to come back to you probably sevenfold. And I don't know if that's in the scripture or not, but I feel like sevenfold is like what I get. It's about what I get. If I, if, if, if I know, knowingly disobey the Holy Spirit or our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if I knowingly disobey Him and I... I guarantee what's going to come back is probably going to be around seven times as worse as what I did. So it is what it is. And I feel like that that's the way that God shows me how I need to learn. Because sometimes you do make the decisions and you know they're wrong and you still make them anyways. And that's what we call sinning buddies. My friends, brothers and sisters, you're all my buddies. But it's choices. It comes down to choices. What do we want to do with our life? Do we want to sit up? We want to sit through life making bad choices after bad choices after bad. I did 10 years of that. I did so many bad choices that I'm just so sick of it. And so when I do make a bad choice, I it's that's a whole nother um, uh, issue in itself because I get 
I get guilty. I get the shame. I get the, oh, man, why would you ever do, you know, blah, 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 blah. But when we pick up God's word and we start reading about the hope that's out there and you start seeing people making videos that are going through life's life. life. I mean, we, were, we just went through two years of a pandemic. We just, three years. I mean, we've been through so much. The political system in our country is just messed up. There is no two-party system in America. It's just, it's all corrupt. And we're dealing with all that at the same time as Americans and as people in the world. I know, Sasha, you're in Germany, and I know there's some other people that listen that are from over the pond, but, man, we are all dealing with similar stuff. So wouldn't you want to turn on YouTube one day and see a fresh face and see somebody who's given out messages of hope and inspiration and encouragement in the name of Jesus? I would hope so. So I hope this... I hope this channel gets shared sometime and I hope that these videos get out and people realize that hey it, it is bad it sucks some days really suck some days really suck but but they're, they're not all bad you guys we have way more good days than bad sometimes we have to move on from 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 things sometimes we have to close chapters in those proverbial books and move on we have to step up another rung on the ladder and make our way make our way make our sorry true traffic people impeding traffic make our way up the ladder because we're, we're we're finally uh able to, to to step up the rungs on the ladders we don't want to keep falling down so keep your place on that ladder my friends keep your place in the spiritual battle too because ephesians 6 says we need to armor up and i would armor up every day that's one thing that i have not done in a week oh my gosh maybe that is my problem i don't think i've read ephesians 6 10 uh through 20 in a week so wow man just I need to open my eyes a little bit better more I need to stop and and I need to you know what I tried fasting last week and it didn't work I think it, it, it made me hangry almost to a point where I was I was I was getting some clarity you guys but after a day and a half I was like oh boy I, you know this is getting to be hard so you know you eat enough just to get nutrients and then that thing happened on Friday and I, I had to stop I had to eat because I just was about to melt down but uh, after I ate, of course, I felt a lot better. But, you know, I don't think God gives us all these nice foods and great foods for us to, to be happy and fat. And I think it's sustenance. So I think when you're fasting, I think you need to uh, do it wisely. And sometimes everybody's body is different. So fasting could be different for you or for me. But you really do get some clarity out of the fasting episodes. Um, you know, because you're forcing your body to, to do some work that it usually doesn't work, doesn't do. And you can get some real clarity out of fasting and giving honor to God and, and, and finding a way to give, please Him and, and honor Him. And, you know, I don't know the whole history behind fasting, but I know that it has helped a lot of people and I've been encouraged to do it myself. So, and um, there's been a couple people that emailed me and Bruce, you had left a comment about things. And thank you guys. Thank you for the emails. Thanks for the, the shout outs. And it's just, it's just one of those, one of those uh, things, you know, and I can't explain it, but I do have a channel, so I hope that it, this inspires somebody to, to hang on. It's not worth giving up on. I could have absolutely drank in the last couple of weeks. I could have absolutely gave up and used drugs of some sort. Yes, I could have absolutely gave up and done all that. That is going to get me nowhere. It's going to get us nowhere. It's going to get you nowhere. Drugs or alcohol are going to get you nowhere. Nowhere. But you can start to get somewhere with the relationship with Jesus. I love you guys so much. I love you all in the name of Jesus. If I say I love you out there, or if I send it a text, or you hear me say it, or I, I send it in a comment, it means I love you in the name of Jesus. Don't get cute with those I love yous, okay, guys? Some of you guys take those the wrong way, but I love you in the name of Jesus. And there's a few of you that, I, that I've really grown to have a genuine friendship love for because some of you guys help me outside of YouTube and know what's going on, and I just praise God for some of you so wise some of you guys are so wise and so generous with your time to spend giving advice giving wisdom counsel guidance i mean that's what that's what we need i wish everybody had that find it in this channel find find it in this channel love you guys god bless you in the name of jesus